what you think. What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about former Florida guard Jalen Hudson and why he's failed to make it in the NBA so far. If you love college basketball, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you enjoy these type of videos, be sure to check out my playlist down in the description below. Now let's get started with today's video. Jalen Hudson was born and raised in the city of Akron, Ohio, a city known for basketball talent. The high school, St. Vincent St. Mary's, is the best known school there and players such as Jakar Sampson, Jerome Lane, and the one and only LeBron James played. Hudson would eventually make it there, but it is not how it started. As a kid, Jalen loved basketball and was actually really good at it. Jalen and his father developed a really close relationship and did everything from eat pizza, go to the store, and play basketball together. Sadly, the family had some issues and his father asked for a divorce. Jalen lives with his mother now, so he went to high school in Richmond, Virginia. After his mother's health deteriorated, he moved back to Akron and enrolled in St. Vincent St. Mary's High School, where he was coached by LeBron James' teammate Drew Joyce. Once there, he excelled. He is now known as one of the top five players to ever come through the school, and along the way, he had one of the nastiest high school dunks we've ever seen. When it came to recruiting, he wanted to play in the ACC because his sister had already been running track in the conference. He ended up committing to play for Virginia Tech and head coach James Johnson, but things got off to a rough start from the very beginning. James Johnson was fired and replaced with Marquette coach Buck Williams, and Hudson wanted to leave. He wanted to transfer to Virginia, but because he had already signed his national letter of intent, he would not only have to get permission to leave, he would also have to sit out a year if he wanted to play. Ultimately, he decided to stay at Virginia Tech and ride it out. As a recruit, he was a three-star recruit, the number 46 shooting guard, and the number 197 overall recruit in the class of 2014. As I said earlier, Buzz Williams is now the head coach at Virginia Tech, a program which had not seen much success over the last few years. Joining Jalen at V-Tech was Adam Smith, Justin Bibbs, and Lamont Hill. Hudson was not expected to have a big role, and the team was not projected to be very good. They were 8-5 before ACC play, and Hudson had only eclipsed 10 plus points once. Things didn't get much better in conference play, as his best game with a 23-point effort and an overtime loss to Duke, and Tech had fallen into a 2-16 record in conference play. After going 1-1 in the ACC tournament, Tech finished the season with an 11-22 overall record. On the year, it has an average close to 7 points while shooting 48% from the field. Not a bad start for Jalen, but he did not have a good relationship with head coach Buzz Williams, thus he wasn't happy there. Nevertheless, he decided to stick it out and give it another shot. As a sophomore, Hudson joined a talented roster that included Seth Allen, Zach Lede, Justin Bibbs, and Chris Clark. Things did not start out well for both Hudson and the Hokies as the team dropped their first game to Alabama State before collecting an 8-5 non-conference record. For Jalen, he came off the bench and only scored double figures three times. Surprisingly, the Hokies started out 4-1 in the ACC play with a huge win over number 4 Virginia, but Hudson was in a slump and that would soon translate to the team. Besides a 27-point game versus Louisville, everything went bad for both him and the team as they lost 7 of their next 8 games. They did win their last 5 games to finish 10-8 in ACC play, but it wasn't enough to make the NCAA tournament as they had a 19-14 record. Ultimately, the Hokies lost in the second round of the NIT, and Hudson was ready to move on after averaging only 8.4 points and 6 rebounds. Because of how much he liked head coach Mike White, he decided to transfer to Florida and sit out a year. In 2017, he joined a Gator roster that included Chris Chioza, Igor Kulichev, K. 
Kayvon Allen and John Agbuno. They started the season ranked number 8 in the country, and it was a much better fit for Jalen. The Gators started out the season 5-0, with wins up with a huge win over Gonzaga and a 35-point performance by Hudson. They did fall to Duke, Florida State, Clemson, and Loyola Chicago, but all those teams ended up at least making the Space 16 in the tournament. They started out SEC play 6-1, with a huge win over Kentucky and a buzzer beater to beat Missouri. They were ranked on and off the rest of the year and finished 11-7 in conference play. For Jalen, he scored double figures for most of his games, including 27 points on the road against Alabama. After losing to Arkansas in the SEC tournament, they finished with a 20-12 record and got a 6 seed in the NCAA tournament. They beat St. Bonaventure in the first round, where they lost to Florida Texas Tech in the round of 32. Jalen had a huge year and was a legit NBA prospect after averaging 15.5 points and shooting 41% from the three-point line. After the season, he declared for the NBA draft but did not hire an agent. He's projected to be an early second round pick and ultimately made the worst decision of his basketball career by returning to Florida for his senior year. Going into his senior year, Florida was expected to be down after losing a lot of talent and Hudson was hopefully going to boost his stock even more. Jalen struggled immensely for the most of his senior year and didn't even start half the team's games. After going 9-9 in SEC play, Florida made a run in the conference tournament and ended up becoming a 10 seed with a 19-15 overall record. They beat Nevada in the first round, where they got killed by Michigan in the round of 32. Hudson did okay his senior year, and even dropped 33 points against LSU, but it absolutely killed his draft stock. He averaged 9 points and 3 rebounds, while shooting a career-low 35% from the field. As a prospect, he could shoot the ball well, was a pretty good defender, and was NBA athletic, but his inconsistency, limited passing skills, and a horrible senior year led scouts to believe he would not even be drafted. Turns out they were right as he ended up going undrafted and had to join the Cleveland Cavaliers in the Summer League. After failing to secure a spot, he went overseas to play basketball in Israel. He eventually came home after he was drafted 7th overall in the G League draft by the Washington Wizards G League affiliate team, the Capital City Go-Go. Sadly, Jalen is the classic case of a player who was greedy and wanted the booster draft stock at any risk. He had a chance to be taken in the early second round, which would have at least put him in the NBA. Now he has to try and work his way up the G League, and with how he played his senior year, it's going to be difficult for him. I didn't even know Hudson went to Virginia Tech before making this video, but I really did enjoy watching him his junior year, and after I didn't see him get drafted this year, I wonder what happened I wondered what happened to him. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you did, make sure to give this video a like and check out all my other videos on the screen and in the description down below. I hope to see you guys again soon. Peace.